Oh, come on, oh, come on, man, what the hell? I wasn't done! I was not done! I like the concept of this deck, keep playing it until you win. Yeah, right, that's what I'm saying, dude. And we will do that. So let's go ahead and make this a bit better. So it's like we're running an Ezreal deck without Ezreal. And also, we're, we're playing for probably the lowest Yordle Grifter odds that I've ever seen. Is Yordle Grifter complete bait? Can our odds get better for Grifter? I think Drury Rig is actually pretty unnecessary here. I think we've got enough triggers for Soloist. Deck doesn't tend to need like a crazy amount of plunder triggers. But we do need more draw. Zap. Can we tutor anything specific? I'm just gonna run it a little bit more. I can't make like big changes yet. I think that Nab is alright. But going too far out of our way to enable the Nab for Yordle Grifter isn't great. The thing about Nab is like when our engine is going, we're gonna kill them so fast and so furiously. Keep Solus and copies. I mean, we could just die early. He's playing a good deck. Uh, is this a fucking net decker? Demacia SI Callista Lucian. There's a good chance this is my deck. But we're playing normals. Did he just snipe me in normals with my own deck? Or is he just playing his own, like, Demacia Callista thing? He's fucking emoting me. This guy's definitely playing my deck. Why are you queuing normals? Am I getting sniped? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so tilted. <laughs> okay, it's not my deck. Good. This is much better. We can we can actually survive the early game here sometimes. Comes down to our draws. If he was running like the harrowing deck, we would have been completely screwed, I think. Play full reactive. So you want to thermo the war shafts? Callista Lucian. Winding God's net deck was Callista Quinn. Callista Lucian could be running deeper Shadow Ops packages. Probably Bannerman if it's running Scythria though. And if it's Bannerman, it's running Resolve. And if it's a resolve, merchant into beam isn't good. So I'll take the beam now. Okay. But don't hate that. We don't really need the target, and we don't really care about his card advantage. We just want to make sure he's not, like, threatening to kill us early. As long as we don't, like, die early, we should just be able to close out the game, I think. I drew a brick here. It's kind of unfortunate. Our hand's pretty good, though. We've got one copies, one soloist. We might have to rummage into an investigator is the only thing. So we hit a Scythria here, which is nice. We've got a free chump blocker, and I 3-3 three, three can even like stop that 2-2 two, two from attacking, which is nice. <clears throat> I mean, does my 1-2 get more than 4 here? Kinda oh, has to, right? Like his archetype can't really get around chump blockers, that's its fundamental weakness. So I mean my one attacking uh my, my my one one or it's a one two in this case will probably actually do more than four here there's a good chance if my three three attacks it actually gets it in right now his deck actually has fairly few ways of punishing this okay sure that's even better for me this is so good so now we can slip play it he has like no way to get around our chump blockers so we wanted to see if we can get a free plunder in with that attack, but this is even better. So now, I mean, we can start a plunder chain and hope that we're good for the soloist, which is just a bad idea. It could be best to just take the aggressive pass here, or we could rummage. We're missing a really important component here. I think we'll, we'll get the soloist later. Let's move in on this. We've got to get the plunders while we can. We can, like, use his Scythria on six. Use the Fearsome to get in Chip, and then Soloists after that, or something like that. Like, that would be totally fine. But drawing his cards out of his deck is going to help us here. So, his win condition is going to be a little narrow. He's actually drawn a few of his cards on his own. He's used, like, Glimpse. <clears throat> so now all we have to do is just chump him down, and then we draw one Veteran Investigator, and we win, I think. Okay, we no longer have the ability to chump him down. Don't know how that happened. Oh, he's got resolve. He snapped that attack in. We're so fucked. Well, nothing we could have possibly done here. We've got a lot of fears and blockers. Yeah, we can't block Scythria to Scythria. We like auto lose to resolve so easily.
pursuit, huh? So his Scythria is dying here. Is that worth it? A pursuit kind of doesn't feel worth it. That's interesting. I mean, it makes the soloist a little harder to get off, I guess. I'm just going to go ahead and let that through. So we have to get the soloist off. It's the most important thing. Nothing else matters apart. Oh, we got Zevi too. So now all you need to do is survive for like one more turn, right? So this Senna loses her buff, which means... Okay, so we activate the Plunder. So now we've got Soloists on 7. Plunder's triggered. Harrowing. Yeah, could be Harrowing. I mean, even then you wouldn't really want to trade that down. It's like, we don't really have good ways to beat Harrowing though. It's like, Harrowing will, will carry like, kind of no matter what else happens here. So now... We have the full wombo combo. We have all the pieces come together. Everything has come together. We've got Chief Mechanist Zevi. We've got blockers all the way down. So we chump this out and we chump this out with Fearsome. So now he has Rally. Yeah, I mean, he kind of has to have Rally, right? But I mean, we're totally fine against the second rally here. That looks good. We have Exodia, guys. He has 22 cards left in his deck. You, you guys, this guy's dead. This guy's actually dead. So he takes a rally here. I counter with Relic. <clears throat> I mean, we, we still need to draw a veteran. That's kind of the one thing. I'm sure we'll draw it, though. I'm sure that'll happen. I mean, there's no there's no counterfeit copies I can make here, right? Counterfeit nab? No, I need the I need the discount for it to be good. If I just if I just draw, if on the top of my deck right now, out of 27 cards, if I just draw a veteran investigator, I win the game. Okay, two warning shots. Okay, what's the game plan? What's the plan? Can we nab anything of his that would actually do anything? I think the best thing... It's tough to discard. No, it's not worth it. I mean, mana, mana efficiency is actually pretty important. Like, there's nothing we can get from him that's actually useful. I think I... Actually just rummage this out. Rummage warning shot? You can you can comp copies warning shot. How many warning shots do we need? Eight? Would eight... Would we actually be able to win the game by doing this? Let's actually try this. Let's ca hang on, hang on. We gotta counterfeit copies warning shot and see what see what happens. This is like a little too funny to not try. So I'll pilfer goods here. Draw a bunch of cards here. I'll discard. We gotta go fast. We gotta go fast. What's happening? Why can't? I oh my god. I've never seen that bug before. I have no idea what was happening there. So everything is discounted. We're, we're gonna run out of time here. These animations are actually too long. So we can cycle everything in our deck with veteran investigators. Zana Urchins. We have the ability to cycle through our entire deck here, right? I think there's nothing stopping us from cycling through our entire deck. You flip Twisted Fate here? I mean, you can flip Twisted Fate here. So we can't, we don't want a veteran investigator yet, because we need all the veteran investigators to be clones. We want to Zonite, open Zonite, we can discard this. We've got an 8 card hand, so we double draw a warning shot. We can go ahead and use both warning shots. This is actually important because it frees up space in our hands. So we'll use two warning shots here, frees up a little bit too much space. Pool Shark is also just a good way of freeing up space, but we need to make sure we don't play too many of them because there's a chance we want them to be the rummages. But if we Pool Shark into Warning Shots at the start of next turn, we could just be good. So we've got 23, Zonite Urchin, we have a 7 card hand, we have to watch our rope, our rope's gonna be super important here. We want to be able to open Glimpse Beyonds, but we're very vulnerable to single combats if we do, so we want to try to use it reactively if possible. We can't take Pick a Card here, so I think it's just more Zonites on the Pick a Card in this case. 
We're storming? Oh yeah, we're absolutely storming. Everything costs zero and double draws us. We are we are drawing our entire deck here. So we'll zone our urchin, killing the pool shark, discarding the other pool shark. Two thermos, so this is just gonna be discard fodder. So now we're gonna Zonite into Zonite into Thermo. Double draw here. So we get two more warning shots. This is gonna do a little bit more damage to his face. We don't have the rummage target quite yet. We'll veteran investigator now. So we're getting zero mana black market merchants, and we have the plunder triggered off of this. So we can play the black market merchants for free without any downside happening here. Now we've got a 9 card hand, the Black Market Merchant draws us back up to the 10, and the Warning Shots get played out. So we do have everything else. The Warning Shots take him to lower health, but the Veteran did give him a draw, and he's roping, which means it's an option, which means it's single combat that he just drew. Which means I'll have to glimpse as a, as a reaction to the single combat. So I'll take the other merchant now. We have enough board space, and of course, you know, we can we can chain the merchants off here. So the TF will flip for free. That'll draw us an extra card off of his blue card. It's infinite Tsukiyomi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so we've got a couple of Senas, and now finally we've got our discard target. Our hand is the full 10 cards, which means the rummage is going to be a Draw four minus three, which means it's a plus one, which means we have to use one warning shot before the rummage. The rummage will then take us down to the six and up to the ten. So it goes one warning shot into the rummage. The rummage wants to be used on both Senna's because they have less of a chance of being played than Thermo. So the blue card activates here because TF, for some reason, his text is written the same exact way Lucian's is, I'm pretty sure. But, I mean, he's able to start activating after he flips and Lucian can't. So, unfortunately, I don't think we can really get the double mystic shot there, but I don't think we want it. So we'll use the other warning shot here. This one activates a red card. Doesn't do anything. We don't have counterfeit yet. We saw his top deck, and it's really hard for him to be on single combat. So we don't want a glimpse yet. Our nine card hand will kick double Senna down to six and then back up to ten. So we get two more warning shots. Let the gold card resolve here, it doesn't matter. And we should just have lethal. And the biggest thing about this hand is like we have the recounter to combat. Because like when we move in for glimpse, if he combats, we've got the other one anyway. So we warning shot here. Our TF is out of cards to be able to play. But there's no downside to this warning shot either. So we need to warning shot to empty the hand. Now our hand is down to eight. Our glimpse is gonna draw us four and minus one, which means we have to play it when we have seven. So we have to play a Butcher just to discard it so that we can glimpse in a way that um, allows us to draw back up to the maximum. So now we'll glimpse the Butcher we just played. This will draw us back up to the 10 card hand. Oh, come, oh, come on, man, what the hell? I wasn't done. I was not done. That is so rude. Okay, let's actually let's make this an actual deck. This is this is no longer a meme concept. I'm gonna make this competitive. This is th th this can actually be built as like a storm engine deck, like a like an actual power combo. I can build the entire deck around this combo. It's not it's not gonna be that hard to make this like I'm not gonna say it's gonna be like super good, but I I can make this like actual like ranked competitive for sure.